Hey, good morning, everybody. Captain Jim Palmer here, the Dream Business Coach, coming to you once again from the bridge of my floating home. And once again, it's about 38 degrees here. You know, um, we're in the slip here in uh, Chesapeake City, Maryland, and they put most of the big boats under these covered sheds as opposed to just being in a regular slip. Now, in the summertime, when it's really, really hot, it feels great to be under the shed because it protects you from the hot sun. It's actually like 10 degrees cooler. But in the winter, or what feels like the winter, you don't get the sun, and therefore it stays cold. So uh, I, went for my normal, I went for my normal morning walk, and um, I could not walk fast enough to... Uh, I could not walk fast enough to generate the heat, but I did the best I could. And... Um, Looks like there's a nor'easter, so, or the remnants of a nor'easter are going to hit here Saturday, so Stephanie and I have reconfigured our plans. On Saturday, we're going to go uh, back up to Pennsylvania, visit the kids and the grandkids, and see her parents one more time, come back to the boat Saturday night, and we're going to leave 8 a.m. on Sunday. That's the plan, so uh, really excited about that. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be chilly, but as long as it's sunny, I mean, this is a fully enclosed um, part of the boat. So even though there's no heat up here, um, with all the glass or, uh, eyes and glass, which is plastic windows, um, it heats up real quick. So we're excited. So Sunday, we officially start the journey north or south. <laughs> we're going south. I think we're headed for Savannah, Georgia, uh, for December. And I just checked, it's going to be like 68 degrees there today. So we're excited about that. Anyway, today is a I'm beyond pumped and excited. Today is my second group mastermind call with the Dream Business Mastermind, with including all the new members that joined our uh, our Dream Business Mastermind. And um, these calls are, are two, two to three hours sometimes, and I just do one profit seat after the other. And I say I do them, I lead them, but then everybody gets to chime in. And and whether there's five or six profit seats, those five or six people leave with some really, really valuable gold and the people who listen and participate also get gold because you always learn from what other people are doing. So that's pretty good. So that's going to start at 10 o'clock. And then I got six calls after that. So by by 5.30 today, I'll be like, oh, I'll be a little comatose, but it's been a phenomenal week. You know, the week after you come back from vacation, like it's always really busy. It has been that to the nth degree, but I love every minute of it. We're really, really helping a lot of people build some dream businesses and that's exciting to me so anyway you know um, what I posted there in the headline um, is stop being the best kept secret and what I mean by that if you are that good at what you do uh, you know you you've taken your God-given skill or talent and and you've developed that into a business and you're just really really good at what you do but you're not making enough money you're not charging enough a high enough fee and most and a lot of people don't know about you um, uh, unfortunately, that falls squarely on your shoulders. You have to fix that. Um, you have to stop being the best kept secret. You know, that means you have to do some more marketing, possibly fix your brand. I don't know what your brand looks like, but you have to have a brand um, that just speaks of of success and confidence and assuredness. Because people, um, customers, look for two things: they look for hope and certainty. Whatever they're looking for. They want to make sure that there's that there, there's, there's a hope that there's a cure or a fix or a solution or whatever it is, but they're also looking for certainty that if I go down this road with you or you or whoever I choose, um, that there's a there's a really high high degree of certainty that it's going to work out right, and so people are looking for hope and certainty. Remember that. And so the hope and certainty comes in a few different ways. Number one, it comes from the brand that you have, and it comes from the marketing that you use to promote that brand. Now, what I teach at the um, Dream Business Academy and with my clients in the Dream Business Mastermind is what I call the Million Dollar Platform. Those are all the different ways that I've created multiple um, successful businesses, and it's how I largely market my um, Dream Business Coaching Program today. And so the multiple platforms are, are all the different ways that you can essentially toot your horn because, listen, nobody can toot your horn as good as you. Nor should you want somebody to toot your own horn, <laughs> you know? I mean, it's great to have referrals. Don't get me wrong. It's great to have satisfied customers and people talking about you and, and referring you and being happy with what you're doing. 
But in the end, um, it is it it is really up to you to uh, toot your horn and tell people. And you know what? You have to meet customers and prospects where they are. If people are hanging out on Facebook, if your customers hang out on LinkedIn, if your customers um, like to consume information the slow way, like through reading books, uh, do they like to read paperbacks? Do they prefer to read them on Kindle? Do they like to listen to your books on audio while they're traveling or in the car or whatever. So it's not enough just to be an author. Check that off. I'm an author. How many different ways can you take that book and, and make it resonate with the largest potential audience? And then there's so many other things, but basically you have to be willing to toot your own horn and you can't just tick off a box and put a post on Facebook or, or make a tweet on Twitter or, or post an article on LinkedIn and think that's it. Because in this massively noisy environment, noisy being noisy, but also a, an, another way of saying a, a hugely competitive market, your post, as good as it is, is going to be lost. So you have to be, you have to be putting out a lot of content. That's what content marketing is all about. But anyway, stop being the best kept secret. Stop being afraid. Successful people are not afraid to say, this is what I do. These are the people I've helped. This is how I can help you. You know, un unsuccessful people are people who have a skill and talent, but they're very, very meek. And they're like, yes, that's my business. You know, here's a brochure. Let me know if I can help you. <laughs> I mean, that's no way to grow a, grow a dream business. You have to step up. You know, if you, if you think about what I'm doing, even right now with these videos, and I come on every morning and I talk about my business and the clients I've helped, I've helped talk about some of the brands and I talk about the God-given skill and talent that I have for marketing and branding and leading people to higher levels of success. I'm very upfront about that because number one, I am very good at it. You know, I, I, I think everybody is blessed with a God-given skill or talent. I happen to, that happens to be mine and I'm okay sharing that with you because I am good at, I am good with it and you have to be comfortable. You have to be comfortable saying, look it, this is what I do and I'm very good at it. And I'll tell you one thing, you know, hope and certainty, people are attracted to confidence. People want to do business with confident people. So that's it. If you're not earning the fees that you'd like to earn, if your revenue is not where it should be, it could be something with your brand and maybe I can help you with that. It could be something if you have a killer brand but you're very kind of in the corner on the sidelines with your marketing, I can help you with that. Maybe it's all up here and I can help you with that, you know, on how to, how to take your business. But the bottom line is if we're gonna help you grow a dream business, you can no longer be the best kept secret in your niche, okay? And that's this morning's I gotta start calling these something besides uh, Captain Jim Palmer, the dream business coach from the bridge. I probably ought to come up with a brand for what I'm doing here every morning, <laughs> dispensing wisdom. But um, anyway, hope you have an awesome day. I'm really, really looking forward to today. Steph's making me a really great breakfast and eggs. Gonna start with some protein so I can keep my brain fed and, um, and uh, really knock it out of the park. I'm really excited for today. Hope you have an awesome day. Be productive, grow your dream business. Stop putting it off. Don't wait till tomorrow. Life is short. And regret taste like crap. All right. I am Captain Jim Palmer, the dream business coach. You go kick some butt today. Take care, everybody.